tell us about the decision to go with um, someone with not a ton of name recognition in Will Hardy. Yeah, Will Hardy, five-year deal in Utah to become their new head coach. 34 years old, he'll be the youngest coach in the league. This is someone who came up in the Greg Popovich system from the video room to the front of the bench and joined Ime Adoka in Boston this season on that team that obviously reached the NBA final. Blew away the Jazz in their uh, interview process uh, far and away the, the top choice. And this is a coach who very much would have been in the mix in San Antonio when Greg Popovich retires. Uh, and he among general managers in the league, it was just a question of when he would, he would get a head coaching job. Now he'll replace Quinn Snyder, five-year deal at 34 years old. Fresh face, so fresh that I was trying to do some research because I felt like there was a Hardy Boys joke in there somewhere. <laughs> he doesn't even have a Wikipedia, so let's get on that, Will. In other Western Conference news, Woj, you also reported earlier today that just like Kyrie, Russell Westbrook will be opting in to his contract, the Lakers guard, set to earn $47.1 million from the Lakers. There was intrigue around the decision since Westbrook's first season in L.A. It was a touch forgettable. Let's be real, his numbers certainly were down, and then, of course, no playoffs. What does Westbrook opting in need for the Lakers' financial flexibility? They seem cash-strapped this coming season. They are this okay, season, yeah. and, and outside of their – a taxpayer mid-level exception, it's six-plus million dollars. Um, that's how they can improve the team, obviously, veteran minimum deals. And listen, Westbrook was expected to opt into sure. this $47 million. Now, he's on an expiring contract, and that deal obviously comes off the cap next at the end of the season uh, in L.A. And I talked to Russell Westbrook recently. He's really excited about the relationship he started to build with Darvin Ham, their new head coach, working with him this season. And you know, last year, obviously, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, they only played 21 games together. Obviously, they'd like to be on the floor a lot more this year. Certainly. Um, I also want to stay there in L.A. We had more news. John Wall, everyone knows for a long time, he was one of the premier talents in the NBA. But well, let's be honest, he's only played, what, 40 games in the last three seasons. What more can you tell us about the Clippers' decision? Well, you know, he obviously got a buyout in Houston, becomes a free agent. And I'm told that when free agency starts on Thursday night, his plan is to negotiate a contract with the Los Angeles Clippers. He wants to play there. He's determined to play there. Certainly sees the need of another ball handler in their backcourt, another score. This is a loaded roster. And so uh, John Wall, you know, as soon as he was getting that buyout uh, with the Rockets, you know, he made it clear to those around him that he wants, once free agency opens, to go talk to the Clippers and find a way to get a deal done and join that team that will return Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. and Paul George healthy to start the season maybe one of the two, three front runners uh, to win an NBA championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.